So we've all done it. You fell off your bike and you smacked your knee. As any good bike rider will tell you, you need a decent set of knee pads to keep you out of trouble and on your bike. For the last six months, I've been using the Flex from 7IDP. I got mine from Amazon in the UK for between 50 to 60 pounds, and I'll leave a link in the description for anyone who wants to take a look. These are one of the more hard-wearing pads in the IDP range. They're comfortable, provide a good level of protection, and they're finished to a really high quality. They are a one-piece sleeve style design, and with the flexible material at the back of the pad, they're easy to put on. One drawback of this one-piece design, however, is that because you have to take your shoes off to put them on, you can't really keep taking the pads on and off if you're out for a long day's ride. To keep the pad in place, there's a tension strap both above and below the knee. The straps themselves are elasticated and stitched at the back, which means you can tension each side separately. Um, they're also easy to adjust with Velcro fasteners. In terms of their protection, they have great coverage of the whole knee, including side padding. They're also a hard capped knee pad, which provides great protection directly over your kneecap. If like me, you tend to stay in your knee pads all day, it's really important to have a comfortable and flexible pad. Having a knee pad that doesn't rub or pinch on the back of the knee is really important for when you're doing long days riding. If you don't like riding in your pads all day, these also fit happily into a trail bag. The straps do a good job of keeping the pads in place whether you're riding or walking around the trails. This level of stability gives you the reassurance that the pads won't move no matter what you throw in them. So there you have it, the Flex Knee Pads from 7IDP. A comfortable and protective knee pad, well worth the money. As I said, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check them out yourself. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.